Good morning, everybody. Today, I would like to introduce the term sentence. A sentence, before that, we should understand the definition of sentence. It's a group of words which can has got its own meaning. So, a sentence is a group of words. So many words will be making a sentence. So, it can be a group of words which makes a full meaning of its own. So, the most important word in a sentence is the verb. So, sentence on that basis, the verb has two variations. One is the transitive and the other is intransitive. A verb which carries an object is called a transitive verb. A verb which doesn't carry an object is called an intransitive verb. So, there for example, the teacher appreciated the students. So, appreciating whom did they, the teacher appreciate that. So, the answer comes as students. So, it's an object. There is an object. So, it is called a transitive verb. So, there sometimes there will be sentences which you have your doesn't have object. So, the ba for example, the baby cried. So, cried is the verb. So, we can't get the our object there. So, in order to find out the subject, we have to ask the question to the verb. So, we will ask who or what who appreciated the students. So, the teacher appreciated the students. Who cried? The child cried. And sometimes there will be one more than one object. So, it is, they are called, uh, it is, uh, one is the direct object and the other is the indirect object. Usually, the, uh, the thing will be the direct object and the uh, person will be the indirect object. And then, and only the passive, we can make the passive voice only by the only when the verb is transitive. So, for example, the teacher appreciated the students. There is an object, so we can make it passive voice. So, because the subject is given more importance, we call it as active voice. And when the object is given more importance, it can become passive voice. The passive voice can be made only that. Uh, transitive verbs. So, for example, the students are the object, so the teacher appreciated. The teacher is the subject, students it is the object, and appreciated is the verb. So, it's in simple past. So, we can make it as passive voice. The students were appreciated by the teacher like that. So, just we will learn one uh, tense that is the simple present tense. How can it be passivized? So, for example, the active voice, it contains subject plus verb, plus yes or yes. That is the only subject plus verb. So, the, for example, the trees grow in the forest. So, sometimes that in addition to the subject and the verb, there will be some more uh, words that will complete the meaning of this sentence. For example, that a tree is grow in the forest. In the forest, it's not the object, but it is a complement. We call it as complement. Complement means that uh, words which will complete the meaning of the sentence. Uh, it is called complement. So there is no object there also. The tree is grow in the forest. The baby cried. So that uh, sentence will take it as, for example, will take the simple present tense. Simple present tense has got subject plus verb. So. For example, the, we drink coffee in the morning. So, that is, we read the newspaper in the evening. The children do their homework in the evening. Like that, uh, there will be some sentences like that. So, that is, what is a regular action, we call it as simple present tense. So, in order to passivize the simple present tense, we will add passive voice, it will be some, that is subject plus. Subject means the object which comes in the place of subject. So, it is, we can call it as subject. So, when the object is coming to the place of sub, uh, subject, we can call that also as subject. Subject plus, that is is, arm or are plus first participle of the verb. So, is will come in the third person singular, arm will come as first person singular and are we will use for plural in all the three subjects, that is uh, sub nouns, I, we, they, like that. So, that will be, for example, I will take one example for that, please. Uh, uh, for example, the same sentence, we drink coffee every morning. So, we, subject, drink, that is the verb, and in the morning, it's a, 
uh, coffee is the object and also in the morning it is the complement. So we can make the passive voice like the coffee which comes in the place of the subject that is singular, that is third person singular. So we we'll use the word is. So the coffee is drunk by uh, us in the morning. By us it is understood but uh, we need not use that word sometimes. And there is the object, uh, subject we need not be uh, introduced there, there also. Uh, otherwise we can put it in the bracket.